So leasing versus buying. On the leasing side, here are some advantages, right? Please listen so you can know the stuff. Lower monthly payments. Why are the monthly payments lower? No, don't do that. Why are the payments lower? There's a very good reason. Why are the why are the payments lower? Because you're not paying for the car, you're only paying for the depreciation, right? You're not paying for the whole car, you're only paying how much the car loses in value. That's why the payments are lower. That's why people like the lease, because it costs less, right? It, leasing's good when you want to buy and get a new car every two or three years, like my mom and dad. I don't know why they're not leasing. i got to have that conversation again with them. Are you listening, mom? She never listens to my video. Uh, you have the option to buy the car at the end of lease, although from what I've read, that is probably the worst idea to do, so don't do that. It's convenient, right? You just walk in, you lease it, they give you the keys, and at the end of the lease, you just toss the keys. You don't have to sell, you don't have to trade in, you don't have to make any deals at all. How much of this writing do you guys have to do? It seems like a lot. There is now there are there's no resale or trade in value of your car, right? So you you basically are just renting. It's like renting a hotel or an apartment. There are penalties if you drive over your limit of kilometers per year. Typically, it's anywhere from um, 25,000 25, kilometers is kind of the typical one, I think. If you are a heavy driver, you can pay ahead of time more. Okay. Okay, on the buying side, you own the car. If you want to, like, you know, customize it, put a lift kit on, maybe. You know? What do you think, Robert? Chrome wheels or something like that? Maybe a, maybe a, a, a hood uh, intake or something like that? Eh? Carbon fiber wheels? Maybe you could put the fuzzy dice on there? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, good if you drive a car for long distances or you want to own your car for a long time. Like I bought a fairly expensive car and we've decided, usually with my wife and I, we've sort of traded them back in every three or four years. This one we decided we like, we're going to keep it until it costs too much to fix. Kind of. So it's going to get like 400,000 bucks. Uh, you can resell, trade in the car if you want. You know, maybe if your needs have changed. No limits on driving. The downside is, well, that's the red, the downside is there is a higher monthly cost. Cars cost money. It's as simple as that. Okay. New versus used. Should you buy a new car? Hey, it's always nice to have a new car. I've only ever had a new car once in my life. Mrs. Pezlowski, you ever had a brand new car off the lot? No. Yeah. No, can't say that. Only enough. once. But with my, I first started teaching here. I went from like working daycare to a real job kind of thing, a career, and getting some pretty good pay. I thought, no wife, no kids, no yeah. other. I'm buying a new car. Yeah. I bought a brand new car. Last one I ever bought. Yeah. Probably never will buy a brand new one. <laughs> what is it? The F100? No, <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Just. Young and single. You should have seen the hair, Robert. <laughs> no, uh, Mazda MX-3. Had a 1.8 liter six cylinder. Yeah, piston's about the size of a quarter. <laughs> my my uh, my first car that I bought was a nice car. Warranty is nice to have, right? They fix it for you instead of you pay. Better reliability. It definitely costs more. You got to pay the freight. And the vehicle depreciates quickly for the first year, as Bodhi has pointed out. If you can buy something that's at one year old and like almost new, that's ideal. Right? Like if you can find something a year, a year and a half old. Our, our Durango was a year and a half old. The, the dealer's wife drove it for the first six months and they couldn't sell it. And it was like a year and a half old, but only had like 20 some thousand kilometers on it. It was beautiful. It was mint. Yeah. And I paid like 75% of new cost. Okay, so benefits to a used car. What are they? Cheaper. You get a car. Cheaper. It depreciates less. 
usually the used car they clean up pretty good right like if you get a two or three year old one they, they're going to clean it up pretty good it's not going to have too many little dings in it and stuff you may still have to get a loan to the bank though usually higher interest rates rather than through the dealer although i don't know about that i've often done pretty well at the bank for uh, i prefer to get my car loans at the bank because i can control how much i pay rather than you may not have a warranty, although you can buy used car warranty. Maybe old and busted or unreliable. It's kind of buyer beware a little more, right? You got to kind of know what you're doing. Got to get it checked out, right? Right. So you should sort of have some idea. You should be able to answer the question: Why would you buy new? Why would you buy used? And defend your answer, right? As long as you defend it, you're usually good. Okay, total cost of ownership. No matter what car you buy or how you pay for it, you can determine the total that you must pay. You've got to include things like all your loan payments, right? Pay attention, buddy, so you know what's going on here. The monthly payment multiplied by the number of months. That's going to be your total payments, right? Typically, you would pay it over maybe three or four years, maybe five. Certainly, the higher-end cars, you're going to have to take longer to pay off. Okay, you have to include your down payment. If you have a trade-in value, monthly fuel costs that we've talked about already, you should also account for depreciation and how much you could sell the car for. That's it. Is that all there is? Sweet. I got a video for you.